The Lainey and Jax Puppet Theater presents the story, the story of the, the Chinese, Chinese zodiac. zodiac. Once upon a time, there was an emperor known as the Jade Emperor. He was in charge of all the heavens and earth. But Jade Emperor had a problem. The people did not have a way to keep track of the years, so they asked him to help. He thought, and he thought. And then he had an idea. I will invite all the animals on Earth to have a race. The first twelve animals to win will each have a year named after them, and that is how we will keep track of the years. So he told everyone about the race. The news of the race reached Cat and Rat, who were neighbors, but Cat was worried. I always wake up so late. What if I miss the race? But Rat reassured her, "Don't worry. I will wake you up, and we will go together." Cat felt much better and went home to go to sleep. And Rat went home too. The next morning, Rat was so excited about the race he forgot to wake up Cat. But when he got there, he got scared. Oh no! It's a river, and I don't know how to swim. Just then, a friendly ox appeared. Ox, will you help me cross the river? And ox replied, "Yes, rat. I will help you. Just climb on my back." So rat climbed on ox's back, and together they traveled down the river. The big and powerful ox had no problem going through the rough river water, even with Rat on his back. But Tiger had a much harder time. Just as Ox and Rat reached the finish line, Rat jumped off of Ox's back and scurried across. The emperor congratulated him. The first year will be the year of the rat. Woohoo! Ox was not happy. It's okay. Second place is not so bad. Thank you," said Ox. Tiger finally got through the rough river, and was next across the finish line. Roar! 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 I made it! Roar! Said Tiger, "Congratulations! The third year of the zodiac will be the year of the tiger." Whoopee! Meanwhile, Rabbit was having a hard time until she saw a log. She hopped on all the rocks until she reached it. Then she floated down the river. She floated all the way to the finish line. Yes, you were number four. Congratulations! Yay! Just then, a very large dragon swooped down from the sky. Wait a minute! What kind of dragon is that? A, a magical, transparent chameleon dragon. They only appear when your mom messes up the green screen in your movie. Oh, okay. Anyway, the emperor said to the dragon, "What took you so long? You could fly. I thought you would be first place." But I am in charge of the weather, and I saw some thirsty people, so I had to stop and make it rain, so they would have water to drink. Then I saw a rabbit trying to cross the river, so I had to make wind to push the log. Am I too late? No, you are still in the zodiac. You are number five. Awesome. Then the emperor heard galloping and knew that horse was on his way. But before horse could reach the finish line, snake slithered out from under his feet. Wait, is that a magical transparent chameleon snake? Um, yeah. No, back to our story. 
horse was so frightened by Steak, he fell into the water. Nee, you're cheated, said Horse. Sorry. Okay, Snake, you are number six, said the Emperor. Did I make it into the Zodiac? Yes, Horse, you are number seven, said the Emperor. Yay! Then a raft appeared carrying three animals. Rooster, monkey, and goat. What great teamwork, said the emperor. Rooster found a raft, said goat. That's great, said the emperor. Goat helped us push the raft, said monkey. Wonderful, said the emperor. And monkey cleared a path to the river, said rooster. Impressive! You will all be numbers eight, nine, and ten. Then a very clean-looking dog appeared. You are a very good swimmer. I am surprised it took you so long to get here, said the emperor. The water felt so nice. I decided to take a bath. Ruff, ruff! You are funny, dog, and you are also number eleven. Great. Now there was only one more spot left. The emperor wondered who would be the last animal to make it into the zodiac. He waited and waited until finally Boar appeared. Oink oink. Oink oink. You are very late. I'm sorry. I was so hungry. I stopped to eat. And I ate too much, so I fell asleep. Ho ho ho! Well, you were the last animal in the zodiac. Sweet! Oink oink! And then all the animals celebrated the end. Wait, what about Cat? Oh yes! By the time Cat woke up, he realized that Rat had already left without him, and that he had missed the race. He was so mad that he promised if he ever saw Rat again, he would get revenge. And this is why, to this day, cats always chase rats when they see them. Don't forget to subscribe and visit our website at laneyanddax.com for more videos, crafts, and holiday fun.